Hello, everybody, and welcome to another enticing episode of Speakeasy Cocktails, where I teach you how to make some of the best cocktails that history forgot. I'm your host, Joe the Bartender, and today I'm going to teach you all there is to know about the blood and sand. You might not think scotch and vermouth sound like a very good combination, and usually you'd be right. Heck, in most cases, scotch is reviled in cocktails. But something about the orange juice and cherry brandy add a sweetness that perfectly complements the robust smokiness of the scotch, giving you a well-balanced and sweet, but not overly sweet, cocktail. First appearing in the 1930 Savoy Cocktail Book, this cocktail is speculated to be named after the 1922 Rudolph Valentino film of the same name. Naming drinks after movies and actors is nothing new to cocktails. Cocktails such as the Mamie Taylor and the Ginger Rogers had already been in circulation for quite a while at this point, so it's understandable that people made that connection. An interesting thing happened while researching this recipe. I found out that most modern records of the cocktail call for blood orange juice instead of regular orange juice. An assumption people make based off the name of the cocktail. But in the Savoy cocktail book, it clearly states fresh squeezed orange juice. The red tinge actually comes from the cherry brandy and not blood orange juice. So do not be fooled by modern impersonators. Up next, the fun part, making the drink. To make this cocktail, you'll need the following ingredients. Scotch. Blended always works in these cocktails as it was standard at the time. Sweet vermouth. Any brand works, just make sure it's sweet and not the dry. Cherry brandy. Cherry Hearing or Kirkwasher work wonders here. Orange juice. As always, fresh squeeze is best. Like most Prohibition cocktails, this one is just shaken until cold. So go ahead and get your shaker and fill it with ice. Next up, you're gonna wanna add one ounce of scotch. And then three fourths an ounce of the cherry brandy. As well as three fourths an ounce of the sweet vermouth. Lastly, you're going to want to top it with one ounce of orange juice. Once everything's in your shaker, go ahead and shake it till it's nice and cold. And then you want to strain it into a cocktail glass. Next up, you're going to want to garnish it with a cocktail cherry. But that's not all. This cocktail actually has a really, really unique garnish, flamed orange zest. In order to do that, you're gonna to wanna to light a match and spritz a orange peel into the flames. And there you have it, the blood and sand. Until next time, I'm your host, Joe the Bartender, and I'll see you in the speakeasies. I always forget how good that one is. Like, Hunter made a good choice with that cocktail.